Hi people, in this video I will be showing you how to create your thumbnails for your YouTube videos. What's up people? We all know that thumbnails is one of the key ways to optimize your YouTube channel including your titles and your descriptions. But for the sake of this video, we'll be focusing on your thumbnail from three persons asking me to show them how I do my own thumbnails. Mine is not even close to perfect, there's always room for improvement. But for sake of those that want to see how I do mine, I'll be showing that on this video. Three things that I do consider before I start making is the themes, how I want it to look like, then the software I'll be using and pictures that I'll be using. Most of the time, if I want to create my thumbnails, I do check other videos on YouTube to see the ones that they have posted, to see how their thumbnails look like and if I can get some few things out of it. So, I search and get some tips from those that have posted the video already then I decide on the software that I will use. There are so many softwares out there that you can make use of but I normally use Canva. That's because I can make use of it on my laptop and I can also make use of it on my mobile phones. It makes work to be easier for me. Even if I'm outside, I can just log in with my phone and complete my tasks with it. The thing is for you to pass the information so you don't have to make it to be crowded. Just make it to be simple and straight to the point so that your audience will be able to get the message by me looking at it. There is a quote from one of the major YouTubers that your top nails is the key factor for any view that you'll be getting and I think I believe in the person. Apart from the information that you are dishing there, make sure that you have a wonderful tone. So guys, let's get started. Normally what I do is I open the software on my PC. I can use my phone to do it. I can use my PC as I've already explained. So for this tutorial, I'll be using my PC so that you've seen it very well. But all the features that are here, they are also on your phone. So you can do this with your phone as well. So when I open the site, I do come to this place and type. I do search for it. I type YouTube thumbnail. YouTube thumbnail. Okay, so I'm already getting some of the options. So I will select this to bring up samples. So if you are finding it difficult to create your own or if you don't really know how to start from the scratch, you can get any of these templates and edit it a bit and start making use of it. Make sure that you are using the free version because if you look very well, you notice that some are on pro version. So you can't use them unless you are on the pro version or let that if you have paid. If you look very well, you see some with crown by the side and when you go side to it, it will show you pro. I'm also still using the free version. So you can make use of the free version for the meantime until you can afford the pro version. So when I type the YouTube thumbnail and it brings this up, I click on this empty template this is the empty one i'll click on it i'm not using any one to start editing it bring me up to this place mind you that i told you guys that before you start you have to check out what others have out there what they have posted and how their thumbnails look like that will give you an insight of what you are doing and how you'll be able to get your own to be better so we have a plain sheet right now this class i'll be using the thumbnail for this particular class i will use it as an example so let's use this opportunity to create a thumbnail for this particular video that i'm doing after having this normally i do upload my pictures i do have my pictures set already the pictures that i'll be using for it if you like you can all you just make use of only text or still pictures or you get still pictures from the videos that you have done or you can get your screenshots I like adding some of my own pictures. I like adding my pictures there. So, had it you are using the pro version of this Canva, you will be able to make use of so many features like the background removing and all that. But because I'm not making use of the pro version, I already have a software, not really a software or a site that I do make use of to remove the background of my pictures. So, this is the site. This is it. You just click on upload and you upload the particular picture that you want it will just remove the background and you click on download and it will be saved to your storage so this is the picture that i want to use and i've already uploaded it i just have to download it and 
that will be it so i have it saved right now let's go back to our canva so this now the first thing that i normally do is to set my background i will come down to this so when you look at it you look at apps from apps you can come down click on background then from this background i can select any one that i want remember you don't have to make it to be so packed up with some messages and some clip just make it to be straight to the point but let your audience get it let it convey the message so i normally use this if you check out my thumbnails you notice that i normally make use of this so i will select this background so this is the background i want you can go ahead and select any one that you are okay with so after this background the next thing that i'll do is to upload my pictures remember the pictures that i saved from my background that's where i removed the background they are already saved to my folder so if i want to bring into canva you just go to upload from this upload you click on upload click on upload files so from here you see all the stuff that i've already sent to the file or from my download you see the stuff that i have already downloaded so you just have to select it and click on open and watch it down here it's already downloading the picture kind of you're already bringing the picture to canva so when we have the picture now to canva you will click on the picture so we have the picture now on our background so place it where you want it to be but this lesson i want it to be at the middle so set it where you will you can use your cursor go to the edge so that you can increase it or reduce it so with this you can be able to increase it so let's increase it i think this is size is very okay so i want to bring up things concerning thumbnail since i've already dealing on thumbnail topic let me just show some samples of the ones that i have done let me show samples of the ones that i've done so if at this point if you have some still pictures from your videos you can bring them in if you have other things just play around with it you can try a lot of things out and know the one that suits very well with what you're doing so i have some thumbnails already saved on this canva kind of some thumbnails i've already imported you know how i imported this picture that's the same way you can import your thumbnails that you have done already into canva so the ones that i've already imported so i'll select this i have some so this let me reduce it i want it to be by the right side i think i have imported some with this one this is the same way that i did the same way i did this one i did is the same way that i've been doing all these thumbnails so i'll select this if you look at this particular thumbnail very well you notice that these are pictures these are screenshots this one too is also a picture that i've gotten so i want to minimize it so like this i want to arrange them so when you click on any thumbnail when you click on any image you study the stuff that are around it so this particular stuff here is for you to rotate it the cursor we even direct and show you that this is for rotating so with this i can rotate it a bit or let me see let me shift it to be like this and this one i can rotate it to be this way and this to let me minimize this i think it's too big rotate it to be this way so that's it you can import your pictures and other stuff that you want to import so at this point the next thing is for me to add my text so you come by the left side 
you scroll up you see this option here text so one of the things that normally helps me when i want to play around with some app is for me to read some of them they are very user friendly that when you read things that are written there you'll be able to do some stuff by your own self so click on test for you to add a test it will bring out this option so what i want to write now is big so i'm using the add a heading so with this text now i have to clean what is there before so our topic here is youtube thumbnail tutorial so i will write this you to it can contain as much as you want so but i want to have them separately so youtube i'll add another text thumbnail so we have it then let me use a smaller one to to yeah. okay so i have it now so after adding this text you can still beautify it you can still add your styles to it so for you to do that just click on the text highlight it and it will give you so many options here this is showing you the font that you can use so we have text styles we have the font so you can choose any font that is very okay with you this is very big just play around with it and choose your preferred font any font you are okay with you can use this as well to increase the size the color if this is okay you can click on this to change the color and the effects you click on effects for you to and other stuff to it if you want to change the outline you use this to change the outline for this i think a background will be better so let's add the background and scroll down change the background color let's make it to be a white no 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 no, no. white will be cool okay let's use red okay so i think this is open so we have our youtube so with this, I can also still do the same thing to this one. Okay. Um, let's change the color or let's leave the color. Let's add an effect to it. Okay. I think this is not bad. This is not bad. Yeah. So I can still change the font and give it any better font that I think that is okay for me. Uh, okay, let's use this so it will be able to match in a well. So, this I have it in this tutorial. I can always the same effects that you have done with this, you can also still do it with this one. Okay, with this effect, let's make use of the outline. So this we are using black. So, so that's it. That's how I do mine. As I said earlier, I know mine. I'm still learning, but with this, I think even a beginner can try out something too. The way I do mine, and this you can just play around with it. You can take this picture to the side. You can keep it at the middle and. Whatever I want to do with it, you can. So I want to add a YouTube logo here and the app that I'm using, that is Canva. I want to put their logo here. So for me to do that, I go to this element, you click on it and you search here, YouTube logo. So YouTube logo is already showing here. So it will bring options of the YouTube logos that are here mind you the ones that are for pro if you have not paid just select the c all so that you select the ones that are for free version so anyone without this pro icon on it just know that you can use it for free so let's make use of this one this is the youtube logo that i have 
so i want to add it and the canva icon soon so you can also type here canva logo so yeah i've already searched them before so with this you can check all to select your canva logo you can also download the pictures and bring them in here the way you brought your pictures to it so you can also do that so we have our canva logo here let's minimize it to be okay so i think i have a picture i have a picture of canva logo that i have already imported before i think i have something like that yeah okay yeah, i got as much so i will remove this one i think it's coming with a little animation i don't want it it's just a picture so this i will keep it by the side we can add a background to this one so let me add some background so in this element that's where you get a lot of things from so let me search for a rectangle a rectangle okay let me make use of this change the color to white okay we don't need this so this i can always twist it to suit in what i want you to do i'm not a pro graphic designer still learning but this is how i do mine so let me twist this to be a little bit okay so i need so i need these stuffs to be in front of it as you can see as i'm placing it is going at the back of it so for it to be in front it's already dead so i will check this layer and it's asking me to send to the back so i'm sending this first one to the back so that this can stay at the front so we can place this at the front let me increase this okay so this can stay here and this can also be here and that's it guys so i don't really know you can still do more to it but for beginners that are trying to get their thumbnails I believe with this process you can be able to check out something the background you can select you can also select plain background you can just select colors you can also use your pictures for the background you can add text i believe you know how to add your text now you can do more to it if you want to import other stuff to it and how you can search and get some other stuff to it and that would be all so this is a beginner's tutorial that you can use and start up something so i think that will be all for now guys if you find this video to be helpful to you please don't forget to subscribe to our channel give me a thumbs up and leave a comment of what you think when we get better we'll come back and do a better video on this thank you guys thank you for watching have a nice time bye